is a national day of mourning in honor of President George Herbert Walker Bush, who died last week at the age of 94. Dignitaries from around the world are among people, 3,000 people, attending today's state funeral in our nation's capital. Nicole Killian has the latest from Washington, D.C. The flag draped casket carrying President George Herbert Walker Bush arrived at the National Cathedral for his state funeral. President Trump, four former presidents, and world leaders packed the cathedral as America said a final farewell to a war hero, statesman, and the nation's 41st president. Through our tears, let us know the blessings of knowing and loving you, a great and noble man, the best father a son or daughter could have. And in our grief, let us smile knowing that Dad is hugging Robin and holding mom's hand again. Mr. Bush is also being remembered as a dedicated family man who lived life to its fullest. The most decent and honorable person I ever met was my friend George Bush, one of nature's noble men. His epitaph, perhaps just a single letter, the letter L for loyalty. A 21-gun salute paid tribute to Mr. Bush at the Capitol, where Americans lined up for hours this week to pay their respects. Mr. Bush was the 11th president to lay in state in the Capitol Rotunda. Members of the Bush family visited again last night to thank mourners for their support. Mr. Bush will be buried tomorrow in Texas alongside his daughter, who died at age three, and his wife, Barbara, who died in April. Nicole Killian, CBS News, Washington.